Yeah, Shalom, Akiyam, Shalom. First and foremost, call Halal, Yamati Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the elder apostles that great millstone that taught us his truth and that teach well. Salutations unto the elect Akiyam out there throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching his, teaching his truth and toiling with all long suffering and sound doctrine. Patiently waiting for the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, so through the Spirit, man, I wanna um, I wanna vent, you know, and I have some precepts that I wanna bring out in the midst, man, you know, um, because if you're in this truth and you're not vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, none of these evil deeds that are done throughout the earth bother you, then you're not in the right spirit, man. All right. And on a lower level, if you're okay with seeing the condition of your people, all right, because Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and the American as a whole, we're under these curses. We're the poor of the earth, all right, because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father's commandments. We obey, disobeyed the Heavenly Father's words, man, all right? So we're in this condition. For, uh, we put ourselves in this condition, man, all right? But... In the in the, um a side note to that, all right. If you see your people out here just bugged out, you know, tripping, you know, teaching wayward doctrines, you know, just just bugged out of the fucking mind, and that don't bother you, and it, it, you know that should that should you know that that think when you see these things that should vex your spirit, man. You know when you see uh, Nate and Johanna and all these different, you know. Um, these different niggas with the truth that's teaching off way off of course of your how about Shemi Awashai's will that should vex you when you see the people that follow them you know it should vex you you know deep down in the spirit man alright we and I mean we're not we know that your how about Shemi Awashai he's not gonna save everybody on the first trip you know we understand that man but seeing that you have men that have authority in this truth and they use it wrongfully, all right, they use it contentiously or use it to make merchandise of people, all right, when you see that happening, that should vex you, all right, not so much that you're going to go out of your way, all right, all we can do at this point is teach the truth, you know, all we can do is teach the truth, man, because we're not strong enough as a nation to take down the enemies, all right, these niggas that are teaching wayward doctrines, they're never going to change their mind, all right? You know, unless, unless the Most High gives them the spirit to repent. But you see the, how far some of these dudes are, how far gone they are, and you know it's no it's no return, man. You know, the, the Most High is going to have to snatch their spirit and bring it up to the heavens, all right? When you see the, these Edomites doing all the madness that they do, man, it should bother you, man. We're a holy people, all right? We shouldn't be... Uh, um. These these Edomites, um, they're slaves, man. They are they're supposed to be our servants, man. They're not supposed to have authority over us. We are the holy nation. We're the chosen people, according to the book of Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. We are that, that nation of people, or the sixth chapter, Salakia, that have the Lord Yahweh Shai so near unto him. So if you in this truth. And you don't none of this none of this iniquity in this place bothers you, all right? You're you're not in the right spirit, man. So, hey, Lord willing, you know this is edifying, man. You know, Lord willing, this is uplifting to Akim. We, we got to get the hell out of here, man. This we got to get the fuck out of here, man. There's nothing here for us but madness and wickedness. We got to get the fuck out of here, man. If you want to stay here, then stay here. All right, but guarantee the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is going to be done. The vengeance of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai's fiery indignation will be carried out. All right, this place will be destroyed. Two thirds will be destroyed. Pestilences, famines, uh, um, martial law, the chip, all these different things are going to come and it's going to slay these two thirds, man. All right, now there will be some some uh, men in the know. That we'll have to deal with uh, um, maybe being at a concentration camp or um, being the being the line of being beheaded, you know. But we're we're fighting for 
fighting for real, man. Jake out here ain't fighting for real because they ain't got no fucking guidance, man. The only guidance that they do have is us, but they refuse to listen to us, man. All right? That should vex you. Even though we can't say we can't save you. You know, we just teach the truth. We can't save you. But at the same time, it's vexing to see your people in a fucked up condition, man. And to be okay with the Edomites who helped further the mind in that fucked up condition, man. That should bother you. That should make you want to snap these crackers' neck on sight, man. All right? So I'm going to get, uh, get this first precept that I have here on the screen. And like I said, Lord willing, this is edifying and uplifting unto the elect Akim. Know the sincere Akim. This is Habakkuk 1 and uh, verse 1. It says, The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. O Yahweh, how long shall I cry and thou wilt not hear? Even cry out uh, unto thee of violence and thou wilt not save. Why dost thou shew me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? All right? It says, Why dost thou show me uh, iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? You know, and I want to get into this word grievance real fast. First, I'm going to finish this preset. It says, um, For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that rise up strife and contention. Now, these Edomites, with the, through the Roman Empire, the Persian Medial Empire, all right, uh, um, in Egypt, all right, and all these different uh, um, captivities that we've been in, there's been nothing but violence, nothing but iniquity shown against Israel, man, by these heathen nations. Okay, and it says, um, and there are that rise up strife and contention. Like I said, we we are not strong enough to take these uh, these heathen nations out, man. We need the heavenly Father. That's why we we turn to the east, you no, know, and we we put up curses. We put up sincere prayers. That's why we go hit the highways and byways. That's why we put up lessons. That's why we read. That's why we study. That's why we teach Israel. All right. Because we're not strong enough physically to take these crackers down, man. But at the same time, that don't mean that these devils should get a pass. All right? That don't mean that they should be able to spoil uh, um, spoil the minds of the, Israel, uh, the Israelites, man. It says we, our people, uh, um, in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says, the, more, the Lord made man upright, but he sought out many inventions. And these different inventions were created by the heathens, man. Namely the Edomites. Okay? So I'm gonna get this word grievance. You know, I, I don't wanna um digress from the from this uh the topic. Alright? So this word grievance is uh strong H five fifty nine ninety nine, which is I maul. Alright, it says toil, trouble, labor, trouble, uh uh trouble, mischief, toil, labor. Alright, so I'm gonna go down here to this the um the strongest definitions it says I maul it says toil i.e. wearing effort hence worry whether of body or mind so the things that we, we see in this place the different laws all this fucking homosexuality all this, I mean the racism doesn't bother us because we know racism exists the most highs of races you know but when you see the level that these devils take it to, you know, it's vexing to the mind, man. It really, it really, when you see what these devils do to us, it should stir you up in the spirit, man. It should make you want to go harder for your how about shimmy shy, man. But in the midst of going harder, we're still vexed. We're still in this vexed spirit, man. What says we're, we're weary of the body and the mind, working all damn day. Picking up extra hours just to make ends meet, which the ends never meet. Okay? No, Issa, this, this place is wicked, man. This place is flat out wicked. Every single thing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set up to be righteous, these Edomites have flipped it backwards. All right? Now that this is part of our curse, we can't lift the curses, man. All right? Part of the, part of the curses is being vexed. Okay? Be in trouble, not being able to uh, um to bring in um uh, big amounts of money. Because guess what? When you bring in when you work for Esau, 
For one, he's taxing your he's taxing your dollars. All right, which these these dollars ain't shit anyway. But he's taxing the money that you bring home. All right, and then on top of that, you gotta you gotta get that money right back to him just so you can quote unquote live right. All right, that's vexing to the spirit, man. You shouldn't want to live like that, and you shouldn't want to see your people in this fucked up condition, man. All right. I'm going to get this next scripture out uh, in the book of Psalms, the seventh chapter, in the 11th verse, man, which is one of my favorite verses. All right. So this is Psalms chapter seven and verse 11. And this is the spirit that we're supposed to be in, man. You know, because it came up some years ago with, uh, um, I believe it was this nigga Baloo, man, which he's nowhere to be found. The most high probably you know, uh, uh, knocked his ass off and gave him some type of incurable disease somewhere man but um you no know, he got mad that we're 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 angry you know deep down we're we're fucking pissed off man and if you're a man of the lord if you know if you know what's right then you would be mad too man if you knew what your your worth as an israelite and see the see the way that you have to live just to so called make it you will be pissed off too, man. The double standards of this damn kingdom. All right? They want you to love everybody, but then guess what? They'll shoot your ass down in a minute, man. Psalm 7 and 11. It says, The Most High, Yahweh, judgeth the righteous, and the Most High, Yahweh, is angry with the wicked every day. All right? He's angry with the wicked every day. We're angry with the wicked every day. We're vexed by by when we look at our people and see our people strung out on all kind of different drugs. All right? See our people with all these different diseases. All right? Fighting for the goddamn... And, and, no, no, so lucky about that. Because you niggas that go over there and you fight for this kingdom, you're, you're a dumbass, man. All right? Thinking that you... This place don't give a damn about you. Esau don't care about you, man. Why would you go fight the white man's... <laughs> and even It's some old head jakes that even know that. You know? Why are you fighting a, why are you fighting a white man's battle, man? The white man has always been at war with you. Why would you go fight in, in cahoots with him, man? Why would you become an ally with the enemy? And he lets you know every day by the way he operates. You know, by the way he shoots down our kids in the streets. By the way that they or even back back during slavery when they raped our women in front of us when they were buck breaking uh, 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 the man in front of his family, they showed you continually in all different types of fashion. They don't give a fuck about you. Nothing's changed, man. All right, so I'm gonna get this next scripture in Second Peter. Um, I, well, I'm, I'm gonna just pull it up on here. Matter of fact, um, Salakia. So Kind of all over the place. Um, but I just started a scripture in um, in the book of a Second Ezra. All right. Um, which I, I'll I'll pull that I'll pull that next. All right. Uh, so let me see this about you. It's uh, Second Peter chapter two. And um, well, yeah, I'm gonna start. I I, I didn't want to start from one, but I'm gonna start from just to get a rundown. All right, this is 2 Peter 2 and 1. It says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall uh, be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them. And, and this should piss you off to see Jake celebrating his holiday too. All right? This should piss you off. But at the same time, guess what? But th these niggas that don't want to serve, turn and serve you, how about Shemiah Shai? We don't feel no remorse for you. All right? We don't feel remorse for you, but we are vexed that we have to deal with your ass, man. All right? Here it is. Thanksgiving is in a couple of days, and you got Jake going all out. Once again, Thanksgiving through Christmas to New Year's, and you see Jake going out of their fucking wits to make sure they're celebrating these three different things, man. All right? So it says... Uh, um, who privately bring in damnable heresies? Yeah, would they would they bring in um one one thing that they say 
uh, uh, one thing that they say about us is that we rape little kids. They, or they say that um, what was the, the the virgin birth? All right, there's all different types of things that these these men bring up just to try to debunk the truth. Really, they're trying to sway the minds of these people. What it says um, uh, um, lead away uh captive silly women laden with iniquity. You know that's what the, that's what these false prophets do. They use the scriptures and they use the knowledge that they have, but they use it. For left hand purposes, man, they don't use it or right. Okay? Alright, it says, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves with destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Alright? It says, uh, so like it, and, and through covetousness shall they with fain words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if the Most High Spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. All right, and the chains of darkness is these bodies, all right, these vessels that the Most High uh, put us in. Because our spirit, when our spirit leaves his body, it goes straight to the Heavenly Father. But when that spirit comes back down, he puts us in a, a, a vessel, man, a vessel of his uh, choosing. And right now, we're in these chains of darkness, man. We got to deal with, we got to deal with pain, back pains. Uh, we got to deal with fucking being cold. We got to deal with all types of ailments, you know, getting getting sick, your, your kids getting sick, you know, uh, fucking because of this damn concrete. This is a concrete jungle, all right? <laughs> you know, but no, on a serious note, you know, we're in these vessels to serve out our judgment, man. And ult there's going to be an ultimate judgment when Yahweh Hashem Yahushai sends his son back, all right? So it says, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning, it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. All right. And that's what we deal with now. We deal with people living ungodly. They didn't follow the examples that were given of the scriptures. And mainly, a lot of these jakes don't believe in the Old Testament. Or they don't believe, oh, well, we're not living in the Bible days. Or that was in the Bible days. No, these things, according to the book of Romans, it says that were written for our understanding. For our learning and our understanding, man. All right? This is our book. This is our guide. This is for us. And we should take, and our people don't take heed to it, man. That's why the Most High, and it says, uh, uh, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. Now, when you go into the book of Revelation, this place is uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Okay? There's a bunch of homosexuality, homosexuality going on, and there's a whole lot of bondage going on, a whole lot of slavery. Okay? Now, in, uh, when the kingdom comes, ain't going to be no sodomy. All right? But there will be a lot of captivity, man. All right? And we can't wait for that, man. We can't wait to get our hands on you damn devils, man, and put you put you in damn chains. According to the book of Psalms 149, man, we're going to put you motherfuckers in chains, man. All right? Then we're going to get rid of your motherfucking ass. All right? So reading on, it says, And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. We are vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, the prophets that was that spoke before us, they prophesied unto these different kingdoms and these and these different nations. You know, and that's what we're doing the same thing. We're preaching the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. We're preaching that the shit that these people are doing, these shit, the shit that these these heathens are doing, the shit that our people are doing, is not right, man. And that you know, Yahweh Shem Shai is coming back in this generation to tear shit up. We're vexed in the spirit. We cannot wait until Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rukakwadash comes back and destroys this fucking place, man. Because if you ain't tired of this place and you want to be here, the most high gonna destroy your funky ass too, man. That's guaranteed. Alright? You shouldn't want to be here, man. You know, we we you know we went on the highways with the Akim and we came up uh, the, the topic that came up. Was you should want your own shit, man. What people don't want their own shit? Esau got this funky ass place. 
All right, the uh, the Asians they got their own the, the um they got their own place. All right, the Africans they got their own place. Russia got their own place. All these different nations outside of Israel got their own place. We ain't got shit, man. We ain't got nothing, and Jake is okay. It should vex you, man. Even as a two third, it should vex you. Now, Jake. Now you do have some Jakes that are not that are um outside of the sect, you know, of of, of this truth, that are vexed, but they're they they're trying to escape the curses, opposed to trying to figure out why is it this way. All right, why don't we have our own shit? I thought God loved everybody, so why does it? And that goes into the book of Second Ezra. It says, uh, um, are these different nations better than we? You know. They have their own things, but it says we don't have our own place, man. Though this earth was created for us, we don't have our we don't have our own place. We don't have our own own shit, man. Our tabernacle is what you how about y'all shy? That's all we have. Really, that's all we need. But physically, yeah, we would love to have our own shit, man. You should want to have your own shit, man. All right. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, man. And that's what we deal with every day. We got to go to the plantation, watch Esau and these nigga women and these coon ass niggas. Watch them smile and be happy, go lucky. We got to go out into the world, see all the type of madness that's going on. And we gotta we gotta turn the blind turn the blind eye to this shit, man. You know, like it doesn't bother us, man. You know? That's why we have to walk as uh, um we have to be as sheep among these well, I mean we uh, we have to be as uh, um wise as serpents and harmless as doves in this place. Because if we would just went on to the world and said, man, fuck all you damn devils, everywhere we go, guess what? Eventually we're gonna be locked up. All right. And guess what? We won't be able to do the work. How you going to cry out until your Habashim Yahweh Shai then, man? You know, when you're not able to do the work and you're locked up in a damn cell. All right. Now, now you're missing the highways. No, now, now you're further vexing yourself. So we deal the way we deal with this vex, this vexation. Our, our outlet is the brotherhood or is reading. You know, or some type of spiritual aspect. That's the outlet that we have, man. You know? So it says, um, he, he vexes his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. All right? So now I want to get this precept. <sighs> Shit, so I can. Um, in 2nd Ezra 15. And I'm going to leave this precept here up. You know, I'm going to leave it up. For verse, yeah, I'm gonna leave it right there. So, um, this is second Ezra is 15, verse 1. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of breeze through it because I want to get to a point. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that, uh, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right. It says, but uh, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. All right. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. These things are coming. All right. While Jake is out here bugged out, while Esau is out here committing all types of iniquities and transgressions, this is what's coming to this place. All right. It says famine. Uh, so like, what is that? It says um, plagues. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Why? Because you, you see the effects of, of, of these different doctrines that Esau bring up. Women's uh women's liber uh uh what's that women's liberty? Alright, women's liberation, you know, whatever. Uh um the the fifty states of America being all where you can you can um Indulge in same-sex marriages. You can marry your animal. You can marry your pu your puppy. All right, all these different things, man. And guess what? These different things are being put now. Some shit Jake don't accept. 
But most of the shit Jake do accept. You know, one thing that they did, they accepted is their white Jesus, man. All right? Their hurtful works are fulfilled. You know, that <laughs> Esau don't got nowhere to go but up with the, with this wickedness. It's like it. Esau don't got nowhere to go but up with this wickedness, man. All right? But guess what? The Most High said they will build up and, and hence he will throw them down. All right? You're going to keep building up. You're going to keep committing iniquity. You're going to keep on causing the people of Israel to go off. And the Most High is going to bring you down, man. That's just how it's going to work. All right? It says the hurt, hurtful works are fulfilled because the Most High will has to be done. All right? There has to be a villain. And, and, and because if there's not a villain, who is, who is the Lord saving us from, man? All right? The Lord is saving us from these damn heathens, man. Because these heathens, they're stronger than us. They've been using these chemtrails, GMO foods, TV, you know, all different types of elements to tear us down, spiritually and physically, man. So when they move in as a flood, you know, some Jake's not going to be ready. But those those that serve and worship Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai diligently and seek Him, the Most High will put His Spirit uh, um, put His Spirit on them to be able to escape. You know. The Most High has to save us. We can't save ourselves, man. Because Esau, is he's, he's, he's the master of destruction, the son of perdition, all right? He has technology that we can't afford. <laughs> you know, they can tear us up. They have, um, I, f I forget, forget where they tried it out at. I forget how long ago it was, but they had some type of um, device. You know, it didn't have a laser. It just sent out a like a sonar, and it could destroy like it, it could destroy a plane miles away, all right. And I, and I think it costs like a dollar to to reload it or something like that, you know. All this different technology Esau has, he can move in at any time, man. So we have to stay prayed up. We have to continue to serve you. How about Shimei or we are gonna get caught in the crossfire, man? All right. It says the. Uh, the, uh, therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right. Which is most of the things that I mentioned. It says, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. It says the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. So those those spirits that went up to the heavenly father. They see what's going on too, and they're vexed. You know, they're ready to they're ready to come back with the Lord Yahweh Shai and tear shit up, man. And it says the just complain continually, because you know why? Because we're, we're 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 vexed, man. We we're sighing and we're crying, man. And all we can do is pray to Yahweh Shai that we're part of that number and that He delivers us, man. You know, because there's no other way out of this place. You can't buy yourself out of the curses. You know, you can't buy yourself into the kingdom. You can't buy this truth. You have to be sincere, man. You got to put in work and, 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 and you have to recognize what's going on and figure out that this is the only way out, man. This is our only way out. You know, we have we don't we we haven't given up hope, man. We're just, our, our spirits are on fire. Our spirits are vexed with this place. And if you're not, you know, there's truly something wrong with your spirit, man. You know? It says, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. <laughs> you know? Because we're, we're in dire straits, man. We're in dire straits. And the only thing that we can do to get out of this place is be diligent, have faith, and keep pushing. Keep pushing the name of Yahweh Shimei Oshai. Keep praying to Yahweh Shimei Oshai, man. You know? Esau, can't, Esau is not going to save us. Esau is going to do everything in his power to destroy us. So our people believing in him, you know, you see what you're going to get, man. You're going to get destruction. You know, you're going to get shot in the streets. You're going to get discriminated against. You're going to get the same 
type of treatment that our forefathers got because nothing new was there's nothing new under the sun. Esau hasn't changed, man. The only thing that has changed is he's in a different vessel now. You know, but Esau's spirit, the devilish spirit, that, that destructive spirit is still in him, man. And his will is to destroy us. It says in Psalms, he said, race it, race it, man. You know, that's applying to us. He wants to get rid of us. So, hey. Call all you want to your home by Hashem, Yahweh Shad, by Shem Kaku Dash, Barak Adam to you, Akim, Lord willing. You know, you brothers that watch this video, you're uplifted. You know, um, you're edified. And let's just keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. You know, if this, if this place should bother you, you know, you should be okay with just being in America. You should understand why you're in America, but you shouldn't be okay with being in America. Alright? Hey, so call Halal Yom unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Kodash, the bonus unto the old apostles, the great millstone, that teach well and that rule well, salutations unto the elect Akim, endearing in his truth with all long suffering and sound doctrine, laboring and toiling uh, to the coming of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.